Joining BYU Sports Nation now, one of the greats to ever put on a women's basketball uniform at BYU, Lexi eaton Rydalch, which is new. You're wearing a couple of new rings, Lexi. I am, yep, a couple. Both. Championship both. ring from uh, last let's tournament. See, put, it, put it out so you can see, see, see both of those. Yep, yep. Okay. So you have it. Oh, okay. So you have the, the wedding, wedding the ring, wedding ring, ring, and then you have nice. I like, I like <laughs> Some that. Some good com- adage, I right? like that combination. <laughs> Thanks, like yeah. That. Some bling bling. Jenny was trying to tell us that he couldn't wear, he, he, he couldn't wear the championship ring because he wore his wedding ring. You're showing oh. us that you can wear both. Yeah, you got to fit it for the other finger. Come on, Judd. He, he should know better <laughs> right. with championship Wh- rings. Which ring was harder to get, Lexi? Harder to get? Um, definitely the championship <laughs> ring. <laughs> you knew you had him once. Yeah, yeah I had him like, reeled in. I got this guy. Oh, <laughs> this oh, cake. Go ahead so and focus good. on my season now. Yeah, that's right. And then, you know, I already got you taken care of. Okay, <laughs> I've been calling you for the last three or so years by, by Eaton, but then you go and get married. And so we're facing the always fun hyphenated uh. situation. So... What what are you? Is it going to be option A, Lexi Eaton, option B, Lexi Eaton, Rydalch, or option C, Lexi Rydalch? I'm going all in. I'm going Rydalch. Rydalch, straight up. Straight I up Rydalch. Get, get rid of Give the me Eaton. a five. Yeah. Give me a high. I appreciate that This right is there. important for me to know. I it mean, is. I'm going to call a bunch of your games. So. I mean, to, if This it, is more important for your husband, though. Right. That's right. right. If it makes you feel better, I still forget to introduce myself as Lexi Rydalch. I'm so... It rolls off the tongue, Lexi Eaton, and... Yeah. yeah. So I still have to catch myself. Okay. It's kind of yeah. funny. Yeah. Did, did you guys do anything, uh, like your bridesmaids, you guys do anything special or funny, like take pictures with... Uh, like basketball shoes on or anything like that? No, we didn't. I mean, we didn't have a dance like Brandon Davies did or anything <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. We probably should have, but you can't really compete with Brandon Davies' dance moves, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of hard, yeah. yeah. I think because he's like seven foot ten, it makes you know, and you're dancing, you have those moves. Like, how do you move like yeah, that? Yeah, you can't help yeah. but stare. And yeah, like, yeah. how does that happen? It's a whole other level, yeah. yeah. The artist formerly known as Lexi Eaton, now Lexi Rydalch in Studio B. BYU Women's Basketball Media Day on BYU Sports Nation. What do you expect out of your, and I know you can hardly believe it, your senior year? It's crazy. I can't believe it's already here. Um, But, of course, I expect big things. Um, Another ring for a championship, but we want to get the uh, regular season championship. It's been way too long. Gonzaga has gotten comfortable in that position, and we want to make them uncomfortable. And then... Of course, going deep in the NCAA tournament, and I'm really excited about this team. I think we have what it takes. We talked to Coach JJ about this this schedule. Um, talked about some of the the, the opponents that's coming up. Um, what game on the schedule are you most uh, interested in playing? Oh, I'm excited uh, for the for the top teams, of course. But I mean, you have the big names, Texas A&M and mm. uh, and uh, Oklahoma, and so. I'm I'm pumped for those. I mean, anyway. that's when you can really test out your level and see how good you really are and how tough you really are, and that's what I live for. That, that that's a great point. I mean, when I when I played against some of the smaller schools and I and I dominated, mm-hmm. um, it, you know, it was it was it was cool. But then playing against the Florida States uh, and then getting my butt whooped, I was like, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not good at all. And so, with that being said, um, is is pursuing a career after. Uh, BYU, is is that something that's on your mind at all? It is, yeah. I mean, I've set that as a goal, and um, I want to play in the league, WNBA, and um, if I can, overseas, if it works with my husband's school and everything like that, we're going to try and make it work, and he's nice. 100% supportive and wants to make it happen too. So we'll see if it's an option for me. Wow, okay. it really wasn't hard for you to get that ring, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Whatever you want, babe. You want me to dish it soon? I'll do it. Take it trash? Okay. He's great. Juddy pointed out that the guard line he really has no major concerns with. You bring back a ton of experience between you and Mackenzie and Kylie Maeda. Mm-hmm. And then Cassie Broadhead as well brings some nice experience off the bench as a guard. What kind of post game will BYU have this year? Completely different. I mean, we're used to Jen Hampson and Morgan Bailey with uh, just a huge post presence in there tall big strong but um we have a lot of versatility this year our post players are just quick and fast and good passers they can slash to the basket and so it's going to be a different style of play something that cougar fans aren't really used to uh so lexi let's talk about uh the mary center Mm -hmm. i'm all big on on venues and get 
really excited to to play in 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 stadiums that hold X amount of play, fans and mm-hmm. noise. I mean, the, the fact that you guys have to, to come in this year and have the renovated uh, Marriott Center, how different is that going to be? How excited are you for that? Ooh, it is nice. I am so excited just to play in that atmosphere where you have these huge TV screens over you. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's just awesome. Hopefully we can get some more fans out this year to, to fill the stands a little bit more, but it's just a privilege and an honor to play in such a big stadium and it's gonna be nice to finally see yourself in hd right that's right (laughs) check the replays out you can see it a little better i've got a loose hair on my jersey yeah that's right some lint some lint how much of an adjustment is it for your eye line because you've been shooting against that whatever color yellow backdrop you want to call that that the old seats were but now it now it's all blue has was that weird getting used to that no, for me, what's weird is that there's like a breeze in the Marriott Center. There's like a cold air. Like we have to get used to it every day. It's like it takes us 20 minutes to break a sweat. So we gotta warm up. <laughs> but it's it's kind of ridiculous. But the colors, no, that doesn't that doesn't bother me. I've I've I'm used to the Marriott Center and the the big backdrop and and shooting with that. So so something that you guys aren't used to is uh, having the four 10 minute quarters. Right. This year. Right. How do you think that's going to change your game? I think it's going to be nice because of the – more specifically because of the foul rule um, where there there's f- five fouls in each quarter and then you start shooting. Mm-hmm. And I think that will really – personally for me, I like to draw a lot of fouls and shoot some free throws. And right. so that will get a little bit quicker, me quicker to the free throw line. And, and so I think that will be an advantage for us. Which of your teammates this offseason that maybe have been off the radar should we be talking about? Who has impressed you in offseason conditionings and training? Um, I mean, Kalani Purcell. She is – she's big time. She, um, she kind of does it all. And she was one of those post players that I was referring to where she's quick. She can slash the basket. She, she can make these crazy passes that, that nobody expects. But once you play with her, you have to expect them because they're coming. And, um, but I think also you can expect good things from McKaylee Orton. She's put in a lot of time and work and really developed her game. And as long as she stays confident, she's going to produce some great things. How do you approach a game knowing that – Maybe, and, and we're, we've been talking about this, kind of like everyone has injuries. Part of the game is injuries. You mm-hmm. went through an ACL. You've, you've been yep. through some serious drama in that category. But <clears throat> mm-hmm. how, do you, how do you approach it when, when you're not 100%? Because you've played, you've played hurt before. Right. What, what's that mentality like? Um, honestly, it's easy to worry about that because you, as an athlete, you're, I feel like you're never really 100%. You, you always have bangs and bruises and, That's true. and stuff like that. So it's, it's totally mental. You just do what you can to take care of it. And then, and then once you go out there, you, you have to let it go and just do the best that you can. And so it's tough. It's, it's a mental game. Or you get married and uh, you make sure your husband – you can know, take care of you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's I, need right. you, I need eyes. I need to massage this. Yeah. 20 minutes here. Take Are you the one kicking up your feet and watching Sports Center at home? <laughs> you know what? Get me a sandwich. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. I'm we... in the season. You know the rules when I'm in season, babe. <laughs> I cannot walk. I can't take more than 20 steps. That's right. No, we're very supportive of each other. And we really um, buy into the, the family proclamation actually. And so we, we try to do our best to fit those roles as, as well as we can. That's ideal. But I mean, obviously there's some exceptions when you're in season and you got to help each other out. There's a balance. If you're, if you, I mean, if you're more talented, if you're more athletic than your husband, then it's just, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, I'm just, you know, just throwing that and out we've been ha- What's his name? Trevor. 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 I'm, so, I'm sorry, I know, Trevor. Trevor. We're just playing. We love you, man. <laughs> we lo- we just, we're just all for the we, radio and TV and good, kind man. of. Well done. Well done locking down Lexi Eaton (laughs) Rydalch. Lexi Rydalch from here on out. Uh, She will be going for a third ring in just a few weeks, starting up here against Utah Valley. First game of the season on November 13th. Boom shakalaka. Lexi Eaton and her team. You can watch them on BYU TV at 9 p.m. Eastern. Lex, great to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's always fun.